Hola, muchachos. Welcome back to my channel and my bed. <laughs> For the past little bit, I have been so determined to declutter my loungewear, like my jammies and my activewear. You know, just like your grungiest grunge. I need to definitely declutter that in my closet and as well as honestly my underwear. I don't know why, but underwear just, it isn't consistent with me. I guess my butt just changes so much. Like I, I honestly, I have an ever changing butt, which sucks. I really don't like it because I find like at a time only two or three pairs of panties firstly look good but secondly even just like fit properly. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that stuff and bring it here and we're gonna go through it together. Thank you guys very much for being here and for joining me for today's video. I always want these types of videos to be encouraging for you guys and to get you motivated and move towards being very disciplined at keeping more of a minimal clothing stash or just stash of items in general it's easy for things to pile up and it's easy for you to accumulate and especially for me as like a influencer I get stuff sent to me all the time so I really enjoy purging things out of my house here my closet donating them to thrift stores and also passing some items along to friends family so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video my minimalism series my playlist it's linked down below so be sure to click on it after this video I declutter everything from my house to my wardrobe to whatever it is did and done in my minimalism series so check that out thank you for being here let's go ahead and get started so if you didn't know, where we store our clothes, it's all in like this small closet. It works really well for us. I have two like long, wide type of drawers where I keep all my underwear and my loungewear and my bras and such. And those are the drawers that we're gonna be tackling today. I need to go grab everything, but first, let's Instagram my filming setup. This is where we're at. Bum ba -dum bum bum. I literally have a plant holding my microphone stand in place. Okay. Let's go get everything. That's cute. Lounge clothes. That side. Bras. Underwear. That side. And I think I think that's good. I think that's it. And I think that this feels like not too much. I feel like a lot of people can watch these videos and think, oh, that's a lot. Wow, she has a lot of clothes for someone who tries to be more minimal, tries to have a smaller wardrobe. You would actually be very surprised to take everything out of your closets and throw it onto your bed. It's a lot more than you would expect. But anyways, let's go ahead. So this is something I do. So as an Instagram picture person, a lot of the times I will thrift items from the thrift store, like the same thrift store it is an MCC thrift store hold on hello hi yes thank you bye bye boom we are getting our hair trimmed just gets a little too long in the back anyway what was I saying? Oh yeah, so it's nice to have different outfits and different looks for different photos. I don't do it too often where I'll just buy a piece for a photo and then send it back to them, but I do it on occasion. This time it failed. I wanted to do a Christmassy photo with like this flannel. It's really soft, but I completely forgot about doing that. I don't like sleeping with like these cuffs. They're really uncomfortable. I'll see something at a thrift store, I'll buy it, I'll take a picture of it, and then I'll actually donate it back to the thrift store and they can resell it again. I meant to do that with this and it didn't happen, so we'll let it go. I actually, you're never gonna believe this. I have a souvenir shirt from Southern Seminary. I didn't go to the school itself, but my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law did. I just never wear it. And every time I wear this out, people are like, oh, you've gone to Southern Seminary. And it's just a conversation piece that I just don't feel like starting. Some tanks that are just getting kind of old and some shirts that I thought I would wear but I just didn't. This nightie is actually really cute but I don't wear it maybe because it's not summer but still if I don't wear it I'm not gonna keep it. I do have some Christmas jammies I think I'll put aside for next year. These I thrifted these and I love them but I need to get like a drawstring for them. It doesn't have one but it has holes for one so I'm gonna need to do that. That's my keep pile. That's my no pile or do something else with pile. A subscriber sent me a couple 
couple of their shirts. This one is Ray of Grace. Ray of Grace? Yeah. It's really cute and I like it and I wear it. I have a bunch of like spaghetti strap tank tops and I just, I wore them in the summer and I didn't like how they felt. Like they didn't feel comfortable and really itchy and I sweat in the, anyway. I don't want those anymore. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna keep this. These, these are so cool. My cheetah print pajama pants. Definitely keeping those. And these. People are always like, we love those. I think these are originally by Cotton On, but I thrifted them. Aren't they so cool? I have another pattern and it's like leopard, but like I like never wear these. So I'll let some other fortunate leopard loving person wear those. I thrifted this nightgown and it is so cute and I really do like it. I thrifted these and Seriously, I've worn the heck out of them, but I know this sounds so weird. This pattern gives me headaches. I didn't realize like how loud of a pattern it was, but I swear, I get headaches from this pattern. Isn't that like so weird? Total full on headaches from this. So I'm gonna have to let it go because this is too much for my eyes. Some little lacy shorts that I'm gonna keep. I feel like this is like a boring video. <laughs> Just like, this is such a weird declutter video. This, this is actually merch from my favorite YouTuber, Alex Steele. But it's definitely here, it's meant for a man. It doesn't fit me. I look really weird in this. I'm gonna have to let it go because I just look freaking weird in this, but I do love Alex Steele. I think his content is great and will. I would pretty much like to adopt him as my son. That's how much I love him, but we'll let this go. <laughs> Just a few more tank tops that I don't wear. This is my Davinia shirt, and I actually wear this as loungewear because it's so comfy and soft. This top that I'm wearing is Davinia says, well, I love this, we keep this. Some loud pajama pants. <laughs> more pajama shorts. These are not actually pajama shorts. I used to wear them out, and then my dad was like, those look like pajama shorts, and he's right, they do. So, <laughs> so now they're pajamas. We have some super butt cheek kind of showing shorts. Oh man, this poor little dead ladybug just hanging out in my loungewear. Anyway, I've got those. Okay, what else do we got? These, okay. These are one of the first ethically made pieces that I ever had. This was not too long after me and Kieran decided to shop more ethical and sustainable. Made in Canada, I don't know the brand. They're like handmade big harem kind of pants. They're amazing. We're gonna keep those. Those were really special to get. This shirt says, know your worth on it. I like wearing it. The letters are kind of velvet. I thrifted this and it's just one of those lounge shirts that you wear and feel good about. I, I don't know, but I feel good about this and I'll keep it. This is such a weird idea. This is my boob shirt. I have a lot of intense clothes here. This is by Corto Creciente, but I modeled a bunch of their pieces for their website. I love this shirt so much. So we keep it as lounge and athletic wear. I have some more just like shirts. Oh, this is my favorite snow patrol. This was one of the best days of my life. I remember this going to their concert with Kieran. One of the best days of my life. It was so good. So I got a shirt to remember that I was there and I, you darn believe I wear that and I love it. I also have this shirt. It says in Enchante. I've worn it a couple times as loungewear, but not nearly enough where I'll wear it often enough again. <laughs> Look at this huge pile! This is fantastic! Another Davinia stuff. I wear so much Davinia's loungewear just because it's so comfy. I also have a couple of these tunics from Jackson Lennon. I used to wear them as like day wear, but they got too many stains on them and pretty sure all my kids have barfed on them. So I have a white one and a gray one. It's like not long enough to be a nighty, but it's not too short to be a shirt. It's kind of super cute. I have two of them. And mama gonna keep these. No, no. Dude, I forgot I thrifted this. This is a Lululemon athletic tank top. It is so nice. I forgot I thrifted that. Glad I found that. I have some leggings. These ones I would not recommend. They're by the brand RBX. I just find they slide down a lot and the stitching is already coming undone. I'll keep them until they die. The color is really nice, but quality wise, I'd rather try to thrift some like Lululemon stuff because I know their quality is pretty on point. These I tried to wear and I thought I could make them work. These are by Under Armour. They're just too big. They slide down too. I thought maybe I can make them work, but when you're like working out, all your clothes want to fall off. These I will let go, but I know the thrift store will appreciate having such a fine pair 
of merchandise to sell. Albion Fit shorts are so good. They have like the built-in underwear. Nothing shows, they're really comfy. You can wear them as a swimsuit. I have some 10 tree shirts, some more thrifted shorts. I have two sports bras. I think they're both by New Balance. They're great and kind of ribbed material. And I find I honestly, I only really need two. Maybe have another one that's more of like a yoga pant material because these are very cotton, but I think they're good. Some more thrifted shorts and a pair of ethical sweatpants. I think this is the brand Wishlist. They're so good. Okay. The moment we've all been waiting for, Sarah's underwear. <laughs> I actually thrifted this container. This is originally a La Senza underwear container, like where they store all their stuff. It had the La Senza stickers on it, but I just got at the thrift store and took off the La Senza stickers because I don't like La Senza products. Like they're really cheap and they look weird to me. Not my taste and they're not ethical, but no pun intended. Let's go into my lingerie stuff. This is a bodysuit that we're keeping that. I have the, mm. <laughs> how do I, how am I supposed to show you guys like, okay, these. I like the idea of these, but I find when it's a full on lace panty, the back just kind of doesn't hug your butt and you get really weird panty lines. I have like so many different pairs of these cause I saw them and I thought, oh, these look so kind of like sexy. And I have so many pairs. They are not sexy nor cool. Cause honestly, they just kind of flow off my body. <laughs> weird and also like honestly I really like lace underwear but it balls up so bad like I find it doesn't last too long I'm more of like a mesh person also does anyone organize their underwear this is so unorganized I need to organize I know <laughs> we'll put this away for now <laughs> hey girl girl has some nice things okay I think every girl needs some wicked lingerie because it's fun for yourself if you have a partner very fun for your partner okay let's organize this There we go. Question of the video. This just came to me. What kind of underwear person are you? Are you like a thong person? More cheeky, full coverage, high-waisted? Let me know and comment down below. Okay, I have a bunch of these like no padding, kind of soft bralette bras from Free People. They're so cute and nice. Wear Lively has such nice bras. I honestly wear all of them. I do have this one by Aritzia. Just don't really wear it. And it's more of even like a sports bra, but not enough support also this cutesy little like it's teeny tiny <laughs> this little everlane bra is so cute yeah i got i got a, they're cute i like them. they're comfy they're not like over the top i have this like free people it's almost like a tank top but it's short and this is really cute and nice to wear to bed that's like everything so getting rid of this keeping <sighs> this that this is good that felt good it's nice to have just excess clutter removed things you're not using things that you don't get full benefits from because they're just ignored and forgotten about when someone else can find them at a thrift store and think like wow this is great i do hope that you guys enjoyed thank you for watching again if you want to be inspired motivated disciplined a little bit more my minimalism series is linked down below thank you for being here and i will see you all in my next video bye